Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And on a glorious uh, day at the end of February, you know, what is it, the 23rd today? Absolutely amazing outside. In the t-shirt, you know, can't fault the weather. Uh, hey, who needs global warming, hey? hey? So, today's review is an absolute classic. One of the best Italian beers, lagers rather. Birra Moretti. Absolute quality in a bottle. Never reviewed it, so this is going to be interesting for me. Um, we'll pour a drink out and uh, see how it goes. Definitely need to move that TV away from there, or at least get another tin opener. So, massive 660ml bottle. I've been drinking this for half an hour. So, good carbonation. This is not the glass where you're going to get the frothing carbonation from the centre. I've discovered that on other reviews. Um, put that there. That's better. Let the video camera don't fall off. Lacing round the edge, uh, normal straw colour, lovely white head, typical lager really, you know. We've come to expect it from all lagers, they all do look very similar in the taste. So, let me have a quick uh, sample. First, first things first, let's have a quick sniff in it. Uh, the usual light malt, hay, grainy aroma, you know, you don't get a lot from lagers, as we all know. Ooh. Nice refreshing taste though. So, 4.6 volume, I actually thought this was a 5%, that's strange. Birra Moretti was founded in 1859 and is still brewed today with our traditional recipe to create a full-bodied golden beer lager known around the world for its quality taste and they're still calling it a beer we call it lager I'm not having none of that lager and beer you know and I suppose real ales is what you know beer covers the whole lot but in the classifications at Sainsbury's, it came under wheeled lager, so lager it is. Now this is this like Peroni, another Italian um, lager. They very much do hold their price. You do not see them below a certain price. Uh, in fact, Birra Moretti crates are the ever go on offer. Um, you'll get 12 little bottles for 12 quid, and that's as cheap as you're going to get it all day long. Uh, the four packs sometimes go on offer, but they only go on offer to a pound a bottle, which is the same as a crate. Um, the big bottles, I think that was a free, on a free for a five pound deal, so not too bad really on that side of things. Very crisp, very refreshing, very similar to every other lager really, you know. A little bit more smoother, you know, if you're going to say anything. A bit more smoother than the likes of Stella and that. On a par with Peroni, you know, is how I see it. I still think Heineken is a more smooth uh, lager. Out of the traditional lagers, you know. Not the ones that have got flavour in them, but, you know, the more traditional uh, neck-it-back type lager. So, out on our travels today, uh, Saturday. Uh, this review won't show up till probably Sunday, but went out today. Went to the usual haunts for new beers. Uh, home bargains. Um... They had two canned offerings from Green King. Uh, one was 49 and one was 59 And at that price, you know, you've got to get them. 
Uh, Yardbird, Green King's Yardbird, which is an ale, and another Green King one, which totally escapes me. And then there was a Bulmer's Cider, um, a blend of cider that I've not heard, a red apple blend, Sarah something or other. And uh, I picked that up as well. Uh, so, free newbies from Home Bargains. And then I went into um, Morrison's. Didn't see anything on the shelves, nothing new. A lot of Titanic plum porter. I was tempted. Um, a lot of canned ones that I've not tried before. I'm going to have to go in and spend a bit of money, but I just wish I knew somebody who worked in Morrison's and get 20%, 10% discount. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, I can get a discount from Sainsbury's because my son works there, which is handy. The only problem is their prices are bloody expensive in the first place, so it don't make it, you know, it don't make it any more enticing to go in unless he gets 15 or 20 percent discount one day, and I go in with a hundred quid and I buy a load, you know, could do a bit of good stocking. One day I'm going to have to because there's varieties in there I can't get at other shops. And anyway, I went into there, and there was nothing new on the shelves that caught me eye and on the floor there's a, a Jennings and it's uh, one with a bird on a, win a winter themed ale and I thought oh, I love this don't know what the price is got to the tills didn't scan I thought oh shit you know I thought what are they going to do it at? I thought they were going to do it for 50 pence at one stage I thought oh I mean I bought one for a winner here but £1.25 in the end so not as cheap as I was hoping to get it but uh, you know if it, when it didn't scan but at that price, you know, it's worth a, it's worth a go. And uh, you know, you don't mind it, do you? Really? You can have for that price. And the new beer that I've never seen before, so very good. So with this um, beer Moretti, yeah, it's lovely. It's, it tastes. It. I mean. Flavour-wise, it's got the same flavours as your for Fosters and Carlings and all that. But it tastes, there's something more to it. Um, I'll go on the internet just to see what the general consensus is on, on the likes of rate beer. Bearing in mind there isn't a rate lager. So they they class lagers as the same as real labels. And obviously, it, there isn't really a comparison. So, beer rare. Moretta. So yeah, on right beer. Um, from 1865 ratings, but bear in mind it is um, a, a more of a real ale site than it is a lager site. So you're going to get a lot of real ale people reviewing it. Um, 2.26 out of 5, which I think is low. Very low. 4.6% says what it says. Um, so, 1. 2.5. Restrained aroma in a light gold pour. Hop forward. Balance to start. Soon fades to nothingness. Probably why Italians are better known for wine. That's a bit uh, rude. Uh, 2.9 out of 5. Clear golden colour. White head has a strong hoppy aroma with hoppy and malty flavours. Bit gassy, grassy rather. Light body, bit metallic finish. I did get a twang of metallicness. Here's another one. I'm not usually a fan of mass produced lagers. But in my opinion... Oh, if I can get it to show... Ah, oh, there you go. This stands out from the crowd. Not exactly bursting with flavour, but a clean, crisp, very refreshing and dangerously drinkable, especially in summer, lager. With a signature background taste of malt and corn. I can smash a good few of these down without it touching the sides. Whereas with Stella, I'd feel bloated and heavy after the same amount. 3.9 out of 5. Bit more of a reasonable review, you know. Because obviously people are reviewing this against real ales and this against King Goblin in, the, in a taste test will never ever get anywhere anywhere near. But against other lagers, which is what it is, it's a lager, you know, it's obviously 
a more of a quality lager than some of the others that are out there. Ooh. And we're back. Phone call in the middle of a review. Most uh, annoying, but it was the wife, so you know, you have to do as you're told, otherwise, you get a good hiding later. Well, I don't get a good hiding, but you get fucking grief. So, yeah, I was in town one night and uh, we just got into a pub in Nottingham. Uh, the, the usual six of us that used to go out, and uh, they were all a bit battered by that time, as you do, you know. And I just got a beer with Moretta, just sat down, first pint, first sip. I thought, oh, this is the just nice. I've been drinking real ales, and uh, you know, just wanted to crisp it up, a bit refreshing lager. And then I looked at my mate and I thought, oh my God. And uh, his name's Graham. F F um, and uh, Graham by uh, name, Gray by nature. I looked over and he looked like he was dying. The bear had gone, you know, he'd gone on the bear, you know. And uh, they had to rush him out and we had to leave our drinks. So pissed off. And then he puked over some, <laughs> near some bouncers. And they were a bit abusive, for want, want of a better word. Oh, you, you fat bast. Move your mate. And my mate isn't even fat, you know. And uh, he's lucky, because my mate's, you know, he's a bit tasty. So, you don't need it, you know. Silly bouncers, you know. Sometimes it's better to not say anything than say something that's like that and, you know, risk trouble. Um, as a bouncer, you may be tough, you may be hard. But there was always somebody out there, a lot tougher, a lot harder. Never ever judge a book by the cover. The reason why I never start trouble with anybody, and I've never had any trouble, is because I, you know, I am as nice as pie, and you usually get it back, you know. I mean, some people, are, you know, you do get the odd dirty look, but you just ignore it, you know. Don't let it worry you. But anyway, yeah, and I lost out on a good pint of beer Moretta, which was the, the story. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not... Hitting me too hard, I might as well neck the old bottle while I'm talking to you. I don't know how long this review is now because of that uh, midway break. But what I will say is, look at that, straight away, lovely head. There is a hoppiness there. It's not a hoppiness that, you know, it's not like a, a citra hops. It's just a little bit hop in, the, in there. Um, to me, one of the top three traditional lagers. Um, this along with Heineken and Estrella of the traditional world lagers slash normal lagers whatever yeah these to me are the best three it's funny but um, Birmaretti's craft lager they brought out the Siciliana Toscana to me, it's got taste that this hasn't got, and uh, it's, I don't know if that's actually classed as a craft lager, I'm only saying that, but very nice lager, you know. So, um, out of five, we'll class it the same as we did Heineken. Uh, Heineken slightly smoother. This has got more of a hoppiness, a bit of a bite to it, a bit of crispness. But both absolutely world-class lagers. You know, you can see why they sell so well. Uh, in fact, Heineken didn't sell as well when I was at Sainsbury's as the likes of Bit of Moretti, which is strange because it taste-wise, it is as good. So, out of five, four point three out of five. You know, damn good. And I think that'll nick that last little bit off camera because I'm starting to gas up myself now, but trying to take too much in in one go. Thanks for watching. See you soon.